स्टार्ट कीजिए अल्ट्रासाउंड जेल वील मेक टूडे इन आर लैब अल्ट्रासाउंड जेल एज यू आर अवेयर इज यूज बाय आर रेडियोलॉजिस्ट फॉर कंडक्टिंग अल्ट्रासोनोग्राम्स अल्ट्रासाउंड जेल इज ऑल्सो यूज बाय आर फिजियोथेरापिस्ट फॉर फिजियोथेरापी सेशंस द अल्ट्रासाउंड जेल विच वी आर मेकिंग इज वेरी सिंपल टू मेक इफ यू टेक द ड्यू प्रिकॉशंस In our ultrasound gel, we have an antimicrobial, which takes care of the stability and ensures there is no bacterial or any microbial growth over a long period of time. We then have moisturizing agent. This ensures that the moisture of the ultrasound gel is retained over a long period of time. We then have a gelling agent. the gelling agent is a polymer and this helps in gelling the gel shape of the ultrasound gel which you observe the thickness the viscosity which makes it possible for the transducer to have contact with the skin is possible only due to the gelling agent the gelling agent which we are using is a high grade gelling agent which gives very good viscosity and smoothness over the skin for the transducer we then have a ph balancing reagent and most importantly we are using ultra pure water which has got a tds of below 10 now please remember that in most countries the tap water which you get may have a tds of anywhere between 150 to 200 tds stands for total dissolved solids high tds is not going to allow a gel formation number 2 high tds is not going to give stability to the gel number 3 high tds would not allow the right viscosity for the transducer movement so it is very much necessary that the water which is being used is of high grade the water which you drink the bottled water which you get in the market is of good quality but still the tds of that water is anywhere between 35 to 50 the water which we are using is ultra pure as i will show you with a tds meter see you can see it the tds is 001 this is very high purity water Zero now. Zero zero one. The drinking water is having a TDS of anywhere between thirty-five to fifty. Not that you cannot make a ultrasound gel with good drinking water. Depending upon the brand, the water may have a TDS of thirty-five to fifty. but then again the stability the viscosity and the reproducibility on the skin of the patient the image formation may get slightly compromised so therefore it is not that in a lab we are using ultra pure water even for commercial production which we do we use ultra pure water only why i am showing you the production of ultrasound gel on a laboratory scale because it is easy to videograph in a laboratory because the quantities are less not only the quantities are less any background sound of homogenizer and other things is also low and the camera can focus on the contents and the processes very properly so now we'll start first we take the antimicrobial 
and put it in water. Now this water has contains antimicrobial because antimicrobial dissolves in hot water. The antimicrobial we are using dissolves in hot water. We have taken 450 ml of water because 25 ml of moisturizer we are adding. The antimicrobial in hot water has been added and is already in this. We have also added the moisturizer. The moisturizer is going to take care of the moistness over a prolonged period of time. And now we are going to add one of the main ingredients which is the gelling agent. Now the gelling agent has to be added very very carefully. Remember this is a polymer. It won't dissolve. It gets wet. So you have to be very very cautious. Tap it and let it go inside the water and spread it over the entire surface. Remember one thing that this process please take at least 5 to 10 minutes. I repeat please take at least 5 to 10 minutes to put the gelling agent into water. And also remember that the antimicrobial which you have added, you have added in water which is at 70 degrees centigrade. So the water is still warm in which you have added the moisturizing agent. And when you are sprinkling the gelling reagent on water, you are sprinkling it over a period of time and entire surface has to be covered. Once you cover entire surface with one sprinkle, wait for 3-4 minutes. Then do the second sprinkle. After doing the second sprinkle, again wait for 3 to 4 minutes. Then do the third sprinkle. Again wait for 3 to 4 minutes. Then do the fourth sprinkle. Again wait for 3 to 4 minutes. Because the video cannot be very long, I am waiting only 3 to 4 seconds. But no, you have to wait for 3 to 4 minutes after each and every sprinkle. Now remember you have seen the powder. This powder is going to make about 500 ml of gel, half kg of gel. But you have to take a very long time in putting the gelling agent on the surface of water. Remember on the surface of water you have to spread it out very very slowly. The more the time you take the better your gel would be because this is not easily soluble in water. It doesn't go into water. It simply goes inside the water and expands. But if you want your gel to be lump free and smooth please remember to take these precautions take your own very sweet time in sprinkling the gelling agent over water and after you have sprinkled the entire gelling agent over water i have not done it fully because i have got already gelling agent prepared ready so i am telling you once you have spread the entire gelling agent over water Leave it for at least 3 hours. Remember, leave it for at least 3 hours. If you are taking a batch of say 50 liters or 100 liters, we advise you to leave it for overnight. And once you have left it overnight, I am showing you the prepared thing. This is how it will look like. It has already become slightly viscous. I have kept this for about one and a half hour. I have kept this for about, about, about one and a half hour though we suggest even for 500 ml USG gel that it should be left for a minimum of three hours for quantities exceeding 50 liters and above 50 kg and above you have to leave it overnight now I am mixing it out 
once again for you and what I am using is a laboratory mixer it has been mixed earlier also but I am giving it one more mix Now to this I will add a few drops of color that is sufficient only two drops give it a light mix you can see and now comes the last part the pH balancing now remember this this is the critical part you have to add it drop by drop the pH balancing reagent has to be added drop by drop one two three four five and I mix it now you can see it is becoming gel like now you have to keep on adding until such time that you attain a good viscosity like this Here you see it's not dropping. There may be some bubbles, but those bubbles can be avoided. If you are adding the gelling reagent properly, if you are doing the mixing of the gelling reagent properly, then these bubbles can be avoided. So this is the process to make ultrasound gel. And should you have any questions, you can please write to us at our email address remember the precautions I have already told you the gelling agent has to be added gradually it has to be left overnight Your, we have used antimicrobial powder the moisturizing agent the gelling agent carefully measured and accurately weighed as per the quantities required to make a 500 kg gel, no, sorry, 500 gram gel. Remember, this is not the right consistency. You still need to add this. But you have to add it only to a certain level and then you have to keep checking the pH. At a particular pH, you will get a gel which is semi-solid. Thank you for your hearing. Thank you for your patience. Please feel free to write to us. Thank you very much.